Hi, in this video, I'm going to be answering an email that I received from a viewer. I have not read this email at all, so this is going to be a fun video for me at least. So let's go ahead and get to it. The person's name is Lindsay, and she includes her last name, so I'll leave it out. And I received this email six days ago. Worried about being unprepared for graduate school. It's a pretty long email. I'll go ahead and read it slowly in its entirety. And as always, if you have any advice for Lindsay, please leave a comment. Okay, good day. I've been watching your videos for quite some time and I was hoping that you might be able to provide me with some assistance. I received an offer for a master's in applied mathematics at a certain school where I plan on opting for the thesis option where I plan on working with the financial mathematics research group to prepare myself for a career in quantitative finance. It's really good, congratulations. My concern is that while I do really enjoy mathematics, I do not have an undergraduate degree in maths. I have a major in economics and a minor in mathematics. This program for which I received an offer is designed for people who do not have mathematics undergraduate degrees. While I have done four semesters of calculus, two of linear algebra, and intro to ODEs, I'm worried about certain courses that I'll be doing specifically, real analysis and probability. To brush up on my probability and statistics, I've been working through mathematical statistics with applications by Wackerly, after watching your video on it. Yes, good. But I am worried about lacking the requisite mat mathematical maturity for this courses. I was hoping that you would be able to direct me towards some resources that I could use to prepare for the program. I'm sure that there will be a heavy focus on probability, which I'm definitely weak on as all of the statistics courses I have taken in undergrad have been econo econometrics, e econometrics, I believe, I can't, econometrics. I can't say that correctly, sorry. Not pure stats. Thank you in advance, Lindsay. Okay, so this person, Lindsay, also uh, gives me a link to the program uh, that they got into, and it's a two-year program apparently, and it's full-time, uh, so interesting. Okay, so my advice uh, would be, first of all, I think what you're doing with the Wackerly book is really good. For those of you that don't know, uh, mathematical statistics with applications by Wackerly is a really good statistics book and it's a mathematical statistics book and it's very comprehensive um, it doesn't read you know like an amazing book or anything like that and it's not written in some like magical way or anything but it's just a standard book that has a lot of content it's got a lot of probability and it's got a lot of statistics and it's it's, it's a thick book also, you can get a solutions manual for it, the student version, and it's got full detailed solutions to all of the odd numbered problems. So it's a great book for anyone who wants to learn a lot of mathematical statistics. It explains, you know, why things are the way they are. It's not just like using some software. No, no, it's all done by hand. It's really rigorous. Um, it's a great book. So your main concern seems to be maturity. Um, so my advice would be, number one, go to... Um, the course that you're going to be the program outlook the program overview that you have for your degree so look on there and look at the courses you're going to be taking and try to find the books that you're going to be using for those courses that is the number one thing you can do to prepare so i can offer book suggestions and i will in a minute but the number one thing you can do to prepare for your future you know endeavors at this college are to actually read the books that you're going to be using for your actual classes ahead of time because nothing prepares you more for calculus than calculus you know if you're going to be taking uh, a real analysis course using let's say the Royden book then if you buy the Royden book and try to read the Royden book and struggle through it and maybe just do a couple problems that will help you tremendously because when you go to class you'll be using that same book and it'll be the second time you're seeing the material it's the same philosophy for uh, reading ahead it's like if you're taking a class and you read the book before the actual lecture that is super super incredible most people don't do that and it's just normal i mean i rarely did that but the few times i did it it helps so you can do the same thing here you can try to find the books that you're going to be using in that program and then go over those books before um you take the classes so i'm sure your program has a list of books i'm on their website now uh, here's a course list, for example. I see a course list. And let me just see if I can find some of the courses so I can read them out for everyone. Uh, web, internet's a little bit slow here, so 
it's not really loading. <laughs> but yeah, so find find the courses and and then see um, what books those courses use, and just try to get those books and, and study ahead. As far as general recommendations for increasing mathematical maturity, I would say pick up a book on proof writing. That's certainly going to be more fun than what I just suggested about learning for your courses because that's easier. So there's plenty of books uh, on proof writing. Just pick one up and go with it. Um, there's a book by Bond and Keen on proof writing that's really, really good. Uh, there's one by Chartran, uh, Palomini and Zhang that's also really good. There's so many good proof writing books. Just pick a bunch of them up and just for a few dollars, get used ones and then just learn how to write some proofs. That will help you and that's really fun. Uh, however, at the same time, I think what's really going to help you is finding out what books are actually used in your program and then going over those books. That's harder, <laughs> right? Because those proof writing books are easier. So it's the harder route, but it's the better route. So again, the best way to prepare for any program or for any class is to actually start working on that program or class before you take it. Use those same books, right? Try to find online lecture notes or anything else you can find. If anyone else has any advice for Lindsay, uh, please leave a comment in the comment section below. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.